Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you my first autumnal Shein haul of the year. So we are moving more into spooky season and just September, October, November kind of clothing pieces now. So away with the summer stuff, we are now moving on to the good stuff. In my opinion, the best half of the year, September to December, because you've got my birthday next week and we've got Halloween and Christmas. So I'm very, very excited. Today we are not strictly into the spooky season yet, but there is a couple of items here that I feel like will fit into the spooky season vibes. I've mainly got accessories to show you guys today actually, which I haven't really done a haul like mainly on accessories for a really long time. It's all been just clothing over the last couple of months. But I've got some jewellery, I've got some bags. We're gonna have a good time here today. So I do wanna let you guys know that this is a gifted collaboration with Shein. I always want to be transparent about that. But as usual, this does not affect my thoughts and feelings on any of the items that are gonna be showing you guys today. I'm always 100% honest with you guys in my reviews, even if I don't like something. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So we are firstly going to be looking at some jewellery pieces from the Strawberry Shortcake collection, my new favourite collection at Shein. Starting off with this earring set, we have two pairs of earrings here, a pair of stud earrings of Strawberry Shortcake herself and then a pair of Gem Daisy stud earrings with a strawberry charm attached to them. They are the cutest earrings ever and I'm absolutely in love with them and I'm so pleased that I managed to get my hands on some Strawberry Shortcake jewellery, specifically earrings as out of all jewellery I wear earrings the most. Both of these will make great additions to some strawberry themed outfits. I own a lot of strawberry themed clothing so they'll definitely fit right in. So the next piece of jewellery that we've got to look at here is this strawberry shortcake bracelet. I've been wearing bracelets a lot more recently. I think they're just such an adorable addition to cutesy themed outfits. The charms on the bracelet match the earrings that I've just shown you with the strawberry shortcake and regular strawberry charm. It also has white pearls dotted throughout. The bracelet is adjustable and the size of it is quite long as well and I feel like I have quite thick wrists and even on the larger setting it fits quite loose on me. Now we're on to some of the clothing items and firstly we're going to be looking at this pair of black jeans. I got these in a size 4XL which is the regular size that I usually get at Shein as a UK 22 to 24. I have a pair of pink jeans that fit very similar to these. They may even be the exact same make but in a different colour because they have a lot of similarities. They have a slightly elasticated waistband at the back of the jeans allowing for some more wriggle room around the waist. The enclosure at the front is a zip and a button which sits comfortably against my stomach and doesn't dig in at all which is something that usually bothers me with jeans in general. The jeans also have pockets at either side and two pockets at the back with belt loops around the waistband if you'd like to pair a belt with it. Personally, I feel like these would look great with a studded black belt. I absolutely love the casual vibe to these and they are going to be such a staple in my wardrobe because you can pair so many colours with black. And I absolutely love boyfriend style jeans and I have always adored rip detailings as well. I don't know why I love it so much, but I just think rips look so cool on baggier style jeans. There is nothing bad that I can say about them apart from the fact that they're a teeny bit long. Not as long as I thought they would be though, but this was to be expected since I am rather short at 5 foot 1. But once I have a pair of shoes or boots on with these, it should raise the height of them a little bit. Overall, I absolutely love them so much and I cannot wait to style some outfits with them. Now on to the last clothing item for this haul, which is this checked pink and white edge to edge fleece. I got this in a size 4XL hoping that it would close properly on me and thankfully it does with some extra room too so I'm happy about that. First of all I just want to say how soft the fabric of this fleece is. It's so unbelievably comfortable and warm. It's going to be great to wear in the winter when it starts to get a little bit colder than it is now. Sometimes I worry that wearing my usual coat which is navy blue will spoil the look of my outfits as most of my wardrobe is made up with pink clothing items so I absolutely love the fact that this coat will fit so well with over half of my wardrobe as it is also pink. This is an edge to edge fleece so it does not have any enclosure, it's always open at the front and has more of a casual vibe than your regular zip up or button up coat. But I can certainly wrap this around myself fully and it's super cozy to just throw on over the top of a cute outfit. 
I absolutely love how full coverage it is as well. The fact that it does close on me and how long it is too. I absolutely hate how a lot of clothing items seem to be unnecessarily cropped these days, especially casual jackets or cardigans like this. So to have a nice long coat that will keep me cozy and warm in the winter whilst also looking fashionable is just amazing. The jacket also features quite a high collar at the back too, which I feel like almost works as an inbuilt scarf to keep the back of your neck warm when you're out and about. Actually, I haven't got one bad thing to say about this fleece. It's super comfortable and looks gorgeous as well. I'm just a big fan. Now we're moving on to some accessories, some bags to add to my ever-growing bag collection. First, we have this strawberry shortcake bag that is two different types of bag in one, a handbag and a crossbody bag. I absolutely love this as a handbag. It's very cutesy and will match all of the strawberry shortcake clothing items that I've gathered from Shein so far, as well as anything that carries similar colours or just general strawberry patterns. I love the retro design on the front with the lace piping around the opening of the bag. It's given vintage but cutesy vibes and I'm absolutely living for it. The bag has a gold press stud opening and I was so surprised to see that it has a gorgeous floral print lining on the inside which really adds to the vintage vibe of it. The whole bag itself feels well made and the design structure of it very thought through as well. Inside the bag I have the red adjustable chain strap which is detachable too so you don't have to wear this as a crossbody. Personally I prefer it as a handbag because even on the largest setting the bag doesn't seem to sit against me in the way that I think is comfortable or even looks good. I feel like if the straps are longer it would be the cutest crossbody bag on me but I think I'll just be using it as a handbag in the future. So this next bag is a must-have for the upcoming spooky season. This crossbody bag is from Shein's Corpse Bride collection. It is in the shape of a coffin and features a detailed black and white design of the Corpse Bride on the front and a butterfly print with the words Tim Burton's Corpse Bride on the back. The bag has a zip enclosure and the inside is probably the size of a large purse so it won't fit much into it. Maybe a phone and some other bits and bobs like lip gloss or a foldable mirror but bags like these are definitely more for the aesthetic rather than practicability. The strap is adjustable and I currently have it on the loosest setting. It is also detachable as well so you could just use this bag as a decoration for your room if you wanted. I feel like that would be a really good idea. I had a similar problem with the last crossbody. It doesn't fit me as loosely as I would like it to and honestly I think that's just because I'm larger around the bust and stomach area so the strap has a lot more to go around. Maybe this is something that Shein can keep in mind so they can cater more towards their plus size customers. It would still work great as just a shoulder bag though. Overall I absolutely love the design of it and it would be the perfect bag to pair with a Halloween themed outfit. Here we have this brown fairy core embroidered butterfly shoulder bag. This is the perfect bag for autumnal outfits as autumn outfits tend to feature more brown and neutral shades. I love that the design is embroidered as it makes it more durable and good quality and the design is absolutely gorgeous too. The fact that the bag is the shape of a butterfly rather than just the butterfly design itself is just super cutesy and definitely fits in with my own personal style. The zip is a little tricky though because the bag is such a unique shape and it gets stuck at the corners easily so I'll be definitely very careful when opening it. I try to open it gracefully but it does take slight force to get over those corners. Again, this is a bag made for the aesthetic, not overly practical or useful. It's lined black on the inside with not much room again. At most, you will fit your phone and other small bits and bobs in here. The shoulder handle will fit comfortably around your shoulder or you could just hold it like this as a handbag with a long strap. Either way, I absolutely love the colour and overall design. It's just super cute. We are now onto the last item of this haul and that is this Harley Quinn bag. Another bag that is two different types of bag in one, a handbag and a crossbody bag. I absolutely love this as a handbag. The design of it is very simple but you can still tell it's Harley Quinn inspired because of the card symbols and the colours. I love how it represents the classic Harley Quinn too and if you're planning a classic Harley Quinn costume for Halloween this year you should definitely pair this with your outfit it would make a great added accessory to your look. The zip on this bag is also a little bit difficult to open especially when it goes over the dip of the heart shape in the middle so definitely be careful when opening this because you do have to use slight force to get it over that dip. Again, this bag is not one of practicability. It hasn't got much room on the inside of it, just enough to fit a couple of small items on the inside. But the overall look of the bag would really complete the aesthetic of an outfit, so I'm not too worried about that because it just looks so cool. 
It has an adjustable strap which I have adjusted to the loosest setting and honestly I may get away with wearing this one as a crossbody because it sits a lot lower compared to the other bags I have showed you guys today. The strap is also detachable though so you do not have to use it that way and to be totally honest I do prefer it as a handbag because I think it just looks better. Anyways that is everything that I've got to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up because it really does help out my YouTube channel and if you're interested in plus size fashion or body positivity content then remember to subscribe to my channel because that is everything that I do here. If you are interested in anything that I showed you in today's video I'll be linking everything in the description box below for you guys and if you want to get 15% off your next order with Shein you can go ahead and use my code it'll be on the screen for you guys right now. If you want to check out any of my other social medias including TikTok, Instagram, Facebook or Snapchat there'll be a link to my link tree in the caption below for you guys as well if you want to check out any of those. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!